Where's the stock market headed? Up, down, or just plain sideways? Where are the best opportunities right now? Dave cuts through the fluff in a no-nonsense manner. Random Thoughts with Dave Landry Podcast. Here's your host, Dave Landry. This is your Random Thoughts Podcast for Friday, November 13th, 2015. I'm looking under the hood, and it doesn't look too good. Random Thoughts. I've caught some flack lately for being prudent. Yes, the P's, S&P 500, and Quack, NASDAQ, have had impressive rallies, but you can't take indices at face value. You have to dig a little deeper to see what's really going on. This can be accomplished using market indicators such as advanced decline line, percent of stocks above the 200-day moving average, and so forth. Although these do have their purposes, I just prefer to get my hands dirty by looking under the hood. If a stock is trending, by law, it has to be making new highs. So the first thing I do is look at all the stocks within my tradable universe, which is average volume, greater than 250 k that are hitting new highs. The number of stocks in the list and the makeup of the stocks in the list can be telling. If there are a few stocks in the list, and they are mostly defensive issues or bond-related, then the market might be entering a cautious phase. Look at the recent new high lists. The top stocks in the list were mostly bond ETFs, foods, and a few big-cap stocks. This, as opposed to numerous more speculative issues, tells me that the market may be in a defensive mode and that the leadership may be narrow. And several thousand others. I then dive in by looking at nearly two to 3,000 stocks in my tradable universe. This is work, but for me it's like being on a daily treasure hunt. Keep in mind that I'm not obsessing over each and every chart. At a blink of an eye, I could see what stocks are trending and which ones are not. If I do find something interesting, I flag it for further analysis and move on. By rough estimates, I've probably looked at over 15 billion charts over the last 20-something years. If you want to become better as a musician, practice. If you want to become better as a technician, then look at charts. Lots of charts. Maybe you came out of the womb being able to read charts. For 99.99% of the rest of us, talent is made, not born. I have to work my ass off. Books have been written on this. The talent thing, not my fat ass. Gladwells are my favorite. Looking at charts, lots of charts, really gives you a feel for what's actually happening. Ask yourself, are stocks mostly headed higher, lower, or just plain sideways? Where are the setups? Are there few or many? Or are they mostly longs or shorts? Are most stocks trading cleanly, or do most look like an electric cardiogram? Or are they debacle de jour? In other words, stocks that were torpedoed. Just look at what's actually there. Right now, my empirical research is showing that most stocks, other than the aforementioned bond-related funds and selected big cap issues, are in downtrends, or at the least have stalled well short of the old highs. There's quite a few debacle de jours and a plethora of electrocardiograms. To the sectors. Once I get a good feel for things by going through a few thousand stocks, I then turn my focus to the sectors by looking at around 250 sectors slash sector ETFs. Right now, many such as drugs, health services, transports, and retail have stalled well short of their old highs in their retrace rallies. And most of those that did make it to new highs, such as tobacco, aerospace defense, and hardware, have sus- subsequently, he tried to say, come back in. And last, but not least, the indices. After the sector analysis, I turned my focus to the indices, looking for signs and signals. The S&P 500 has recently had a sharp retrace rally of nearly 12% in just over one month. This is nothing to sneeze at, but in the market... As Janet Jackson says, it's what have you done for me lately? And lately, the market is stalling near its prior highs, suggesting that it might be finally catching up to what I've been seeing internally. Those who fail to sell on the last rally will be forced to rethink things should the recent pullback become more than just that. That's just human nature. There was also a recent bow tie sell signal on a weekly chart. This is where three moving averages, the 10 simple, 20 exponential, and 30 exponential, Converge and spread out in the opposite direction over a short period of time, given the appearance of a bow tie. As my good friend Greg Morris once said in Investing with the Trend, we treat all signals as if it will turn into the big one. And I fully agree. All tops will have signals, but not all signals will turn into tops. Weekly bow ties off of major highs should not be taken lightly. The last two times this occurred in the S&P 500 in 2000 and 2008, the market subsequently dropped well over 40%. This might not be the big one, Elizabeth, but the fact that the stalling action is confirmed by most stocks and sectors, you might want to pay attention. As mentioned in my last column, if you don't have time to sift through a few thousand stocks or can't afford to have me do it for you, by the way, free with purchase, 
I'll do it for you for a year, no charge. Just purchase a stock selection course between now and midnight today. Then look no further than the Rusty, IWM. It hasn't made much forward progress over the last couple of months, or years for that matter. It lost nearly 2% on Thursday. This is more indicative of what I'm seeing internally. I did a walkthrough on all of this in yesterday's Dave Landry's of the Week in Charts. See the link on my website to watch it. It's free and must be good because people often say, quote, Dave's good for nothing, unquote. So what do we do? I get criticized for saying a lot of the same stuff. I like to see myself as being patient, persistent, and consistent, and not repetitive. With that said, one sec, control A, control C, control V, there, bam. Again, I have no regrets for being prudent, nor should you. He who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. Stop me if you've heard that before. It's hard to be patient when the market is in this, quote, sorted out, unquote, phase, but that's the thing to do. You have to pick your spots very carefully. But all I'm seeing on the radar now is a few speculative IPOs. I'm going to nibble there on entries, but for the most part, I'm going to be patient. Now's not the time to rush out and buy a bunch of stocks, especially when you look under the hood and see that the market isn't running on all eight cylinders. Best of luck with your trading today. Dave. Want to learn more about trading? Visit DaveLandry.com for free reports, articles, videos, and live webinars. Got a question on trading? Email Dave at Dave at DaveLandry.com.